Alright, cool man. Hey, it's Cortland from Jigskins. And I got a couple new rods here. Um, actually, one new rod. I got two of them fixed. My sort of OG uh, rods that I've been using for the last couple years. I had a rod builder. I'm not going to talk about rod builders. They both do a great job. But I was super surprised when I got the one back today from a different builder how differently they build the rods. Um, I've got three here. These are all black hole blanks. I have an 8 foot nano and two 7.6 nanos. I also have some reels over here we're going to go through. I'm going to swap them out on these rods and see which uh, setups I like best. But the thing I want to talk about is the main differences between these two rod builders. Even though we're building off the same blanks, I had one cut two inches off the butt of the rod, which doesn't affect the action of the rod, it just makes it shorter. And then I had the other builder cut three inches off the tip of the rod, which obviously is going to impact the way that the rod fishes. I did that because I've fished the rod that I cut the butt section off for a couple years now, and I wanted something that would fish a little bit heavier. Um, the 7.6 with the butt cut off is perfect for about 120 gram lures. I wanted something to go up to close to 150, but I love the blank. Again, this is the 7.6 Nano Blank from Black Hole. Um, so let's get into the main differences that they got these guys put into these rods. So again, we've got three rods here, and I'm not sure what Black Hole does. The 7.6 Nano and the 8.0 Nano, um, and just three different builds. And some of the differences are kind of noticeable. So this rod, actually we'll do, these two rods were built by a builder, and you can tell they overwrapped some of, I guess, the end of the glass work that comes during the blank. I don't know if this is just to cover this section or if it's functional or what. I guess the first time I put a big fish on it, we'll, under, we'll know if that's going to unwrap or something like that. The other thing is I had this blank had a cracked reel seat. So the builder that built this rod also replaced this reel seat. And you'll notice that he did not use winding checks. Um, I don't know if from a rod builder standpoint if this is just a decorative thing or what but he chose to not put winding checks on either of the blanks and that may very well have been because i wanted the real seats as far forward as possible um i can talk to him and ask him about that but that's that so we're going to take the two seven six nanos and look at some of the differences um this rod had two inches cut off the bottom this rod had nothing cut off the bottom, and you can see that in the height of the butts here. Um, and the reason that I do that is to shorten a rod. Um, I'm a good caster, so I don't need a longer rod. Typically a longer rod lets you cast farther. Um, you'll, you know, surf fishermen and guys that fish off the rocks fish with rods anywhere from 10 to 13 feet long. I also knew that I wanted the reel seat even farther forward. Um, the other thing I do is I put an upward locking reel seat. If you put the reel seat on with it locking downward, you actually drop the reel in and it stays down at this. So it actually, with the upward locking reel seat, it lets you get the rod even farther forward. I don't have super long arms, but I'm comfortable with that in a belt. I want to be at full extension on my arm so that I'm not, I don't have to cock my arm a little bit. I can get into a pretty good fight with a fish and just use a full arm as leverage on that. So that's why I move that reel seat that far forward. And it's one of the reasons why I build custom rods or have them built, because I know nothing about building them. So as we move up, you go to the first set of guides. Again, this is the old rod, this is the new rod. I don't know, I know there's K-frame guides, I know there's SIC, I don't know what any of that shit means. Um, you can see that this one is flat or perpendicular to the blank. This one is at an upward angle, as well as all the other guides, they all carry the same function. Ironically, I feel that these guides were heavier duty. That's just the feeling I have in my hand. This rod is an inch longer than this one because I cut two inches off the butt, three inches off the tip, but they're only two grams in difference in weight. This is 375 grams, this is 373. One interesting thing though, is the center of gravity on these two rods. This rod's center of gravity is right here at the tip of the grip. 
this rod's center of gravity is right here at the end of this rat. So the difference in the butt and the tip um, make a difference. I'm not sure what reels I'm going to fish with this. I had been using a 5000 Saltiga. I've fished it with a 18,000 Stella. I've fished it with a couple different reels. I've got some reels over here. I got a new 14,000 Twin Power and I've got my old 18K Stella. So one thing we're going to do is start swapping around, you know, reels. The other reason that I think that some of these frames are put on at different angles is that some reel seats are cocked off of the angle of the spool. So the spool the shaft and the spool is straight up and down here and some of the reel seats were cocked backwards as well like on the Stella so it's definitely supposed to have something to do with the castability and specifically to the reel that you're fishing on these rods none of that shit really matters to me tomorrow we're going to get the drone up in the air um, take these rods out to the pond and I'm going to cast them I'm so comfortable with what I had that I'm kind of thrown off by the new stuff, but hopefully tomorrow we'll be pleasantly surprised and uh, I can tell you what I think about the differences. So this is first cast, new rod, funky guides, and probably going to get an alligator involved in here at some point. So I've, I've got this reel, I've got this reel seat a good two inches farther forward than my old rod. So, off we go. All right, so we're gonna go deep with this again. I, that wasn't bad. Um, it, it cast it a little flat because the rod, the casting portion of the rod is a little shorter than I'm used to. Um, so it's three inches shorter that I'm used to, so I gotta launch a little bit higher angle. Let's see what happens. I don't hate it. So let's switch over to the other rod so I can do an immediate comparison. Quick change of roo. Same lure, same reel. This is my old rod. Flat guides. This is the 7.6 cut down to about 7.4. All of it was cut off the butt end. So the reel is about two inches farther to the back, which means since I cut three off the tip on the other one, I actually have almost five inches of more casting distance on this rod, so distance between the reel seat and the tip. Um, and I have a feeling I'm going to be able to cast a little farther with this, but let's see. So not that big of a difference in the casting distance. I guess we'll have to listen to the audio, maybe get a close up of this one and we'll listen to the line slap, see what the difference is. So I'm gonna do sort of a checked cast across the pond. I remember I was casting here one time, I put it in the fucking trees on the other side of the pond. So here we go. Definitely feel like there was a little more line slap on these guys. All right, so this would be like cast for cast distance. Yep, good cast. Man, I'd say it's even, Steven. I mean, negligible difference, I feel. Obviously on the little action cam, you're not gonna be able to tell the distance like I can standing here, but I would say that even with the five inch difference between them, same reel, same, um lure you know this is a like for like comparison casting distance at least this is my impression casting distance is the same this the other rod is definitely stiffer um 
and I feel like there's more line slap in this. Like I feel like if I cast that rod a little bit more, the angled guides are actually going to cast better. And I came out here hating those fucking guides because I'm just not used to it. I don't like change, like I said. So we're going to get the drone up in the air and goof around a little bit more. But I'm happy with the old rod. It's caught a lot of fish, but I'm not as down on the new rod as I thought I'd be.